everyone. Welcome to A. Rodesky Genealogy. My name is Angela Rodesky, and in today's episode, you're going to hear from Charlie Biggs. He owns the local barber shop here on Main Street in Middletown, so stick around. I am back here in Middletown, Delaware, and I wanted to stop by the Main Street Barber Shop because I've heard a lot, there's a lot of history and a lot of interesting things that happened in this barber shop, and it's all because of this gentleman here, Charlie Biggs. They're all good stories. They're all good. So Charlie's going to share some of those stories with us and maybe some of the history around some of the pieces here in the building and the history around the building itself. So thank you. We were talking about this building and you becoming a barber. When is it that you decided to become a barber? Fourteen years old. When you were fourteen years old. And I sent 14. to, I sent the barber, I say, pick tomatoes and save a tomato money uh -huh. to send for a barber kit. And when it came to me, and you know, then I forgot, it came COD because I never mailed for anything before 14. Right. So when it came, my father had to pay for it and he bad out of fit. Oh. So I had to pick more tomatoes to pay him back. So <laughs> it was a neighbor I had to pay it. So, so then I, so I sent my brother on, on the milk can, you know, uh -huh. talk for it by, you know, 85 pound milk can. Uh -huh. and, and I did such a bad job that I never got to go down to a winter barber school. Never. Never, well, when did you go to barber school? When I got out of high school. When you got out of high school. So you got your kit when you were 14. That's when you decided to you become a barber. You one time, yeah. What? <laughs> I'd sat down there in the cabinet and never oh. been used since. It was thanks to tomatoes. Yeah. Picking tomatoes, you yes, started okay. yeah. becoming a barber. That's good. Yeah. And so you went to barber school after you got out of high school. Yes. And then you opened, did you open your first barber shop or did you work for someone? Like I you? worked for Mr. Slaughter. Mr. Slaughter. Okay, where was Mr. Slaughter's shop at? Uh, on Broad Street. Um, okay. Ninth Broad Street. Okay, yeah. what's there now? A beauty parlor, but I don't know what's in there. Okay, right. then you moved over here. Yeah, I bought what? this when I moved over. Then I moved over. And when Mr. You... Van Horn was uh, selling that, and Mr. Walls worked for him, but he stayed with me for okay. his clientele. You know, he had clientele. Right. So that made it nice. This my ear. Yeah. We don't want any, We don't want to turn this into a horror movie. It takes too long to stop the bleeding. Oh, I heard that. Charlie, how long have you been in business here? Uh, well, long, long. Yeah. I became here nineteen. Looking, I was here nineteen, and I'm eighty-one. Who the gentleman is sitting in the chair? Yeah. Sam Cannon, chairman of the Veterans Watchmaker Edition. How old is this register? It's a. Uh, well, it was here when I came, so. Uh, it's probably about 1910 or 20, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So this was in this shop when yes, you came and here? and this mirror case was all here. Where, what was in here before you came in? It was for two years. It was um, a dress shop. That. Okay, a dress yeah. shop. Talking about when you came over here to the shop. So when was it? You said Mr. Van Horn had it. Yeah. And the client. So when did you purchase this shop? Here about 15 years. 15, 15 years. You've had a lot of interesting people walk in and help oh, you. Oh, yeah. Everything that's here in the shop, the chairs and the mirrors yeah. and all, was this all of this here when you came yes. in? So this is all original that's here. Ow, the okay. bow. Oh, yeah. The diamond. So this sink was here when you got here? Yes, when I got here, yes. Okay, so. Well, what? this is regular, I mean, regular cold. This is regular hot. Uh -huh. And then you switch it to get your hot here to, and the cold to come out here for oh, shampooing. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't shampoo anymore, but years ago they shampooed They shampooed. Do women's hair? I do few women's you hair, do a few yeah. women's hair? Okay. Yeah. Still do. You still do? I, say, I tell them they don't come here for the haircut, they come for the entertainment. <laughs> That's true. I've been here for a little bit. There's been a lot of entertainment that's been going on. That's why I noticed up here you have a, a cabinet full, it looks like a pieces of oh, like yeah. history and different yeah. things. Yeah, it's a lot of history. See, that shows you cutting hair, look. Oh my god. You have the camera on. <laughs> yes, it's on. That is so cute. Yeah. Is and is there a story behind the boat here? Well, uh, I wanted a boot for a, a Mrs. Ellison out here. She was known not to get anything from her. You know, she was renting for three dollars a day. When she was uh, passing away or something, I asked her would she 
sell me one boat. And she said that it wasn't for sale, but she'd give me one if I tell every, all my customers that she give it to me. Yeah, she wanted to advertise herself, I guess. She was doing it. You <laughs> know, I help, help so much information. <laughs> Chopper Charlie's Middletown, Delaware. So what's the story behind those clippers? Well, my, my classmate, one of my classmates I graduated, we're still good top friends. Uh -huh. He still comes down, he lives up in Pennsylvania, but he comes all the way down here and gets a haircut. And he graduated with him, Bobby. Okay. And uh, and he made that for me. And give it to my birthday or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so the Chopper Charlie goes from here, and now I've noticed we've got Chopper Charlie on some racehorses up here. So what's the, well, the story on these racehorses? Miss DuPont, Miss DuPont, Richard DuPont had a horse. And it's time to name it for racing. See, I think it's about three years old before they go racing. Right. And it's time to start giving them a nickname for racing because they had a long name. They got four names. Parents come down, you know. And so she needed racing. And she was at the, she had a party and her great nephews were there. And she said, I need a name for horses. And then I got, they got talking about Chopper Charlie cut my hair. So she said, Go ask Chopper Charlie, can I name, I gotta have a race name for this, for this horse. So they came over, his foreman came over and asked me, I said, yeah, I'll be glad to. That's all. Yeah. But Miss DuPont owned it. Miss DuPont owned it. You didn't get any of the benefits from it. No. Yeah. But you got the name. Yeah. How many people can say they have a racehorse with their name That's named right. after him? Not many. Not you're the, many. You're the first one that I've met. Yeah. Charlie gave me some articles to read. And there was something in one of the articles that I had no idea about that, I don't know how many of you know what barbers at one point, what they what they would do. And, yeah, said, yeah. and what was it that... Bloodletting. They would bloodlet. Yeah. Bloodletting. Yeah. So, can you explain that just a little? Well, also, they did it to your person. People had high blood pressure, see. Uh-huh. They thought that would cure it. And so they would come to see their barber. Yeah, and they let them do it. And they yeah. would let them do it. Yeah. And we don't know what the success rate is, but we kind of no, question it, don't nobody we? Nobody knows. It. Nobody knows. That would pass down. So that was done before doctors even yeah. did any of that. Mm -hmm. So your bar so barbers were not only barbers, barbers but they yeah. were they performed medical treatment. Yeah. During that. But you've never done that, right? No. Okay. Nobody so trusts me. <laughs> yeah. well, no, I wouldn't. Not no, right now. You better not. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> no. Thank you again, Charlie. Yeah. Thank you so Thank you. much. I yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the episode with Charlie Biggs and learning a little bit more about the history of the barbershop here in Middletown, Delaware. So remember to click some of those buttons down below. Like, share, subscribe, and give me some thumbs up and leave me a few comments. Talk to you guys later.